Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to show you a demonstration of how to make a clone of you in a picture. Um, today I have my assistant here, but, zip, but 004, 004, and here's the things that you need. You need a basic webcam or a, a photo or an, an iPod, you need an awesome, so like, you know, a person to take a photo of. You need like, um, and you also, you need paint, which is included on your computer. So let's start off. Or if it isn't, well then they're fucked. Yeah, then they're fucked. Okay, so let's get into a position. First you need to get into a position and make sure your camera is fixed so it doesn't move or anything. Okay, so also let's get into position. Now we need to take a photo of that. So three, two, one. Okay, now we've got the photo. Now we have to go into a second position. Now, Austin doesn't have to do this in this demonstration, but it's recommended that you change clothes to make it more realistic looking. So, like, you Try actually. Have... No, nah, it's fun. We're, we'll run out of time. So, um, you got that? Or something? So, feel. Okay, so. Be all sad and stuff, okay? So, three, two, one. Now we have those photos. Now we need to save them. Oh, Mm. Where's the other pictures? Oh, I got rid of them. Oh, you know. What's that one? <laughs> okay, so now I've got the both of the pictures. Now we need to open up paint. Handy dandy, right there. Okay, so now I've opened up paint. We need to Okay, press from and find the picture and then open one of the pictures and then it should come up like this. And then what you need to do is you need to click away. So you then you need to increase the paint actual canvas to like double the size of that picture so you can fit two of these pictures in it so we can do some editing. Let's go ahead and do that. It's going to take a while. Okay, that's enough. So now we need to cut off, say, half the picture, but make sure there's a little bit left. So let's say this amount. So let's cut that. So it's got him remaining. And now we need to edit and then go paste and edit, um, paste in the other picture. And you move that out. It's of... a bit dark. That's a fail. Yes. Sorry about that. <laughs> Um, well I guess people can, yeah, you need to worry about the lightness and the darkness of the picture that the person is taking, so. Oh, we'll just continue and just show you what to do. Yeah. Okay, so now what you need to do is, is you need to cut also about the same amount of this picture as you did as the other one. Nothing change, we did it the same time. Yeah, it's a bit retarded. So let's cut that. Maybe it's because I'm blocking the light out with the my head. Or oh, it's probably like how I was sitting. Oh, also you need to be careful of the um the um the lighting and stuff. So you want it to look perfect, but this yeah. is just a quick one. Yeah. More pixels. Whoops. In my PJs. Yeah, totally. Okay, so let's we need to move this picture. Now to make this easier, I'm gonna like resize the images so I can make. Neat <clears throat> stuff. Okay, so it's just a really quick demonstration. This isn't as detailed. I might make another detailed one. Fuck it out. Hate notebooks. Did you love them? Nah, yeah, right, they're, they're good. Okay, so now I need to try and, alright, make sure that it's on transparent selection. Now we need to try and align the photos together. This might be a little bit tricky. Um, so let's try and align these photos. 
That looks about damn right. Um, yeah, you should. That's list. perfect. It's just the light. Oh my god. It's perfect. That would have been perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah, totally. Except it's just the freaking lighting. But you know, you can worry about that after. So that is basically how you do a clone picture thingy in about five minutes or so. So this is um Super Reza Extra and Byte 0004004 and I hope you enjoy this video. See ya.